Welcome to the 60 second review, where I tell you everything you need to know about a game in less than a minute. This time it's the turn of Death Ray Manta from Rob Fearon. Rob's previous work has included things like War Twat and Squid Yes, Not So Octopus, so just assume we're on less than serious ground here. DRM's a simple, shiny wee thing. It's an arena shooter where the enemies go down quick and the masses of particle effects are more likely to kill you by sheer distraction. It's the kind of game that gets you into hypnotic trance, slamming through level after level before you lose concentration for a moment and take a neon insect to the face. The music's constantly churning, and since you can't see what's in front of you for lasers, it's best just to treat it as a kind of sensory treat. This isn't the kind of thing you play to win. It's more like a tune you stick on to cleanse the palate after binging on bloated high-concept prog rock albums. So is it worth getting then? Well, aye, it is. Since it's Rob's birthday, you can pick up the bag full of wrong with all of his games for less than a pound right now. Can't say fairer than that. And since future plans include adding the ability to muck around with the workings of the game, to change the text and graphics, add cocks as enemy sprites and so on, this is just the gift that keeps on giving.